Today we will be looking at the grid tie inverter from Goodweek. I'm Benjamin here at NAS Solar Electric and I'm here to help you plug into solar. All right, we got a good Wii 11.4 MS US 30 inverter here on our table today. And we will be showing you how to properly make the PV connections, the AC connections, how to pair it to your Wi Fi using Bluetooth and their app, and how to monitor it using their, their application. All right, let's get started. We're going to open the lid here. I already have the screws removed. There's four little Allen screws that we're gonna remove. They do include the Allen wrench for your convenience. All right, inside the inverter, we have PV here on the left. We have AC connections on the right. Today, we're gonna to be using some cable, some SOW wire, and just some, some MTW wire that's stranded. When you're installing this in, in a real world application, you're gonna have conduits coming in and the wires coming out of the conduits. For this application, we're just gonna plug it in and kind of let it hang off the side. All right, I got a pair of PV wires here. These are MTW 10 gauge wire. We're gonna use these to simulate our PV connections going into the inverter. Manufacturer recommends putting ferrules on the wires to guarantee that all the strands go into the connector. For this process, we are going to want to use a little flathead screwdriver to help us insert the wires into the connectors. So to do so, we're gonna take our screwdriver and right above the hole that we insert the wire, there's gonna be a square kind of slot. We insert the screwdriver down. And what happens is when we enter the screwdriver in, it's going to release the lever that holds the wire in. And so we're gonna insert this positive wire here into PV1 positive. We're gonna insert it in, kind of push, keep it pushed in while we remove the screwdriver. And we're gonna do this for the PV1 negative. And you would repeat the same process for all of the PV ones. For the 11.4K inverter we have here on our bench, we have three positives, three negatives for three separate strings. This inverter has a max 600 volt per string max and 16 amps current per string. And we can have three different arrays facing three different ways or just three different arrays to fill the 11.4 size. All right, now that we have the PV connections all done, we're gonna to move to the right side for the AC connections. For this demo video, we are using SOW wire, three conductors. We're gonna be using the black for L1, the white one that I've taped red for L2, the green one we're gonna be using for neutral. When you wire this in, in a real world application, you're gonna have four conductors, neutral for white, green for ground, black and red for L1, L2. We're going to follow the same principle we did for PV, use our little screwdriver here, insert it into the square little channel, kind of push down to move the gate away. We're going to do L2 first, which is red. We're gonna insert that in, make sure it's fully seated, pull out the screwdriver. We're gonna do that for the second one, which is neutral. And for our application, it's gonna be green, but for you, it's gonna be white. And then we're gonna do the third one, which is L1, and we're gonna use black. All right, now that we've made our AC connections, we can move on to installing the antenna. This would have come in the box with the inverter. And we just screw that in here on the right where it says Wi-Fi. And you can kind of position it towards your Wi-Fi source to get a better connection. Once we have the Wi-Fi antenna installed, now we can go through the process of powering it up, verifying, our voltages, verifying that we have made the right connections, and then we can go towards the app. All right, 
We've got the unit powered up. Now let's take a few readings to verify that we have it wired right, and then we'll proceed to programming it using smartphone with the app. So I'm gonna set this to voltage, and we're going to read between neutral, the middle one, and the left side. Make sure we have 120 volts. We're going to go to the right side. Also make sure we have 120 volts, and then we'll go between L1 and L2, so the the outside two and make sure we have 240 volts. And if this one all checked out. So we're good to proceed to programming it using the app. Now that the unit has power, you're gonna notice that the LEDs are starting to light up and flash. Let's take a quick second to kind of review what they mean. Far left, we have the little power icon and if it's lit, the unit's powered up. If it's off, the unit's off. Next one over is grid status. If it's off, it's not currently actively feeding power to the grid. If it's solid, it is feeding power to the grid. Flashing, it's still in the process of connecting to the grid. Next one over here is the cloud. Flashing means it's trying to connect to the cloud. Solid, it's connected to the cloud. Far right, we have the alarm icon. If it's illuminated, you have an air. Check the app, check their remote monitoring platform to see what air you have. Now that we got the inverter wired up, powered on, we're gonna need to use our smartphone to commission the system. There's two apps that we need to download from Goodwe. First app is for commissioning the inverter. It's called Solar Go and we'll use this to connect to Wi-Fi and to adjust some of the parameters. Once we have that done, we're gonna to transition to the second app called Sims. This app is to monitor the system, either remotely or on site, and it also helps us to see production of the system as a whole. Now that you have the apps downloaded, let's go into Solar Go and connect to the inverter so we can get Wi-Fi connected. All right, now we're gonna open the Solar Go app. This Goodwe US30 uses Bluetooth. So we're going to go here to Bluetooth. We're gonna pull down and scan for devices. We've already found the device we want to connect. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna use the default password here to connect to the inverter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna log in. And we're here at the overview screen. We show that it's waiting for solar to be able to connect and power that, power loads. We uh, kind of have energy production for the day. We have what grid voltage, just kind of an overview of what's happening. We're gonna go down to the bottom to settings. Here we have communication settings. We're going to go to WLAN. Here we're going to click and find, it's gonna search and find available networks here. We're gonna select the one that we want, go confirm. We're going to type in the password. We're gonna keep DHCP on and we're gonna go save. We get a pop-up says success. Now we have that connected to our Wi-Fi. We're gonna go back, we're gonna enter the basic settings. Here, we're going to verify that it is US 240 volts AC default. If it's not, click here, and you're gonna be able to go to safety codes. The password to enter safety codes is a different password. This password is Good we, G O O D W E, 2010. And all the letters are lowercase. Once we have typed the password in, we can select America and kind of scroll down. And we're going to find US 240 volts AC default. And we'll select that. Make sure to hit save. After you see the success, we can go back. And Here's other parameters that we might need to adjust later on if we're having issues with the inverter. 
If you do have issues with the inverter, please make sure to take a screenshot of this page and any other settings pages so those supporting you can kind of see how it's programmed. Okay, now that we have basic settings done, we can click here on parameters and kind of just see an overview. We'll see kind of what size inverter for us, 11.4K inverter, MS US 30 model. We see three inputs. One, um, they're all zeros since we don't have a solar array connected, but for you, you would see voltages there. And then we have grid, grid values, what the current grid voltage is, how much we're putting to the grid and the frequency there. And then up top, we can select alarms and see kind of any alarms that our inverter has stored. And like for us, we have a micro grid fault and that will help with the, the troubleshooting process if you could take a screenshot of that also. Okay, now that we've kind of viewed all three kind of tabs, we're all done here in the app. Now we can move to the Sims app. Now that we have everything taken care of in the Solar Go app, let's move to the Sims app. And here we're going to link the inverter with our account so that we can monitor it. We're gonna now open the Sims app and we're gonna log in. If you don't have an account, you can go right here to register and enter your email address, create a password, select that you're here in the Americas and agree to the terms and click register. Once you've created an account, you can type your username, which is your email address, your password that you just created and go to log in. And once you've logged in, you're gonna see kinda, kinda whatever sites that you have connected. I have a few here from a few customers, but we're gonna add this inverter here today. We're gonna come up here to the plus. All right, now it says create plant. We're going to add our email address. We're gonna name our plant. We're gonna enter our address, whatever address you're at. It will kind of auto-populate, but you wanna verify you're using it. Okay, now we're gonna put that we're residential. We're gonna put whatever size solar array we have. So for example, we might have a 12 kilowatt array. Amount of panels, let's say we have 36. And profit ratio is how much cents per kilowatt hour do you get from the utility company? And we're gonna get go and submit that. All right, it's creating the plant. All right, now there's a note that says we need to add equipment to our plant. We're gonna add now. We are going to ins install or select an inverter because that's what we have installed. Now it's going to allow us to scan the QR code on the side of the inverter to link it. All right, now that we scanned our QR code, it's gonna auto-populate the serial number, the check code, we can name it. Something unique. And add the device. It's gonna add it. All right, now it's added to our plant. So over the course of the next few days, you're gonna see power production at certain times. You're going to see kind of the status of your inverter. Kind of this one's waiting, but it would say producing or off. You can kind of see what's currently, what current parameters we have here. We can even select like month or year to see trends and kind of shows us today, monthly in total, how much we've produced and how much we have um, made from, from this inverter. 
Okay, now that we have that all there, um, that's kind of basic overview of the Sims app and what, uh, what values we can see there. Now that we have the good Wii inverter wired up, powered on, and commissioned, it's ready to start producing power. Hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. We have more videos to come. Also, go over to our website. We have a learning center full of helpful articles. Don't hesitate. Give us a call. Chat with us. We're here to help you plug into solar.